Let's start with the bad news. I'm from the IRS and you owe us money for taxes, which you can pay in iTunes gift cards. But the good news is you've won tickets for a cruise. Congratulations! When people talk about spam calls, they tend to refer to four types of calls. Telemarketing. These calls originate from a live person who's trying to sell you something from a legally registered business. Such calls are annoying but generally not fraudulent. Legal robocalls, which are automated calls for notifications, services, or sometimes bills. It's not inherently spam. Everyone gets legitimate robocalls from doctor's offices confirming appointments, political campaigns looking for votes, debt collectors pursuing money, charities contacting prior donors, or schools making announcements. Illegal robocalls. These include many pre-recorded messages you didn't sign up to receive. This category includes calls such as a sketchy auto warranty call, student loan scams, or a call that went out during the presidential election telling people not to vote. And scam calls. When a live person calls and tries to defraud you in some way, that's a scam call. This category includes everything from the aforementioned car warranty scam or kidnapping scam. Such calls have been around for decades, but they've increased over the years due to the simplicity of the technology behind them. Through voice over internet protocol calling, a single computer can make thousands of calls an hour. Caller ID spoofing has also become easier, which makes it possible for callers to get around lists that block specific numbers. Numbers. Scam calls aren't personal, not really anyway. Representatives at the FCC and FTC both told us that robocall scammers might call numbers randomly or by sequentially dialing numbers by area code. Scammers, being unscrupulous, can also buy a list of phone numbers from a legitimate source for their illegitimate needs. Laws passed with the aim of curbing illegitimate robocalls go way back to the Telephone Consumer Protection Act of 1991 and cropped up most recently in 2020. The Traced Act increased the fine on spam robocallers from $1,500 to $10,000 per call. And more importantly, it requires phone companies to improve their call authentication technology. You have a number of free options for blocking, silencing, or at least putting a warning on incoming calls. Register for the Do Not Call list. The first step to reducing spam calls is to add your number to the FTC's National Do Not Call Registry, which at least cuts down on legitimate businesses cold calling you. It absolutely will not stop every scammer, nor will it stop all legitimate robocalls, but it provides one barrier of defense. Download your carrier's free spam blocking app. With the Traced Act Now Law, carriers can block spam in the background without your needing to do anything. Installing an app made by your phone carrier can supposedly slow down spam calls, but it's nearly impossible to tell how effective such apps are. Every provider tries to upsell you on plans most people don't need. AT&T Call Protect, T-Mobile, Scam Shield, Verizon Call Filter, and many others. The Nuclear option. Block every call from someone not in your contacts. Most smartphones offer a way to block any call from a phone number that's not in your contact list. This sounds great on paper, but say your doctor's office calls from a different line, a job interview calls back, or an automated message about a vaccine appointment attempts to make contact, you could be out of luck. If you are comfortable with this arrangement, here's how to set it up. Open the phone app on Android and then tap the three dot icon in the top right corner. Go to settings, click on block numbers, enable the block calls from unidentified callers option. Similar on iPhones, open settings, go to phone, and then scroll to silence unknown callers. You can also block individual numbers. This approach is useful if the same number keeps spamming you. First off, open the phone app, head to the recent history tab, tap the number you want to block, and then tap block or report spam. For iPhone, open the phone app, tap recent, tap the info icon on the number you want to block, and then select block this caller.